Here on this demonstration unit, we have two identical pumps driven by two identical motors. Pump one is controlled by a conventional motor starter and downstream on the flow line is a control valve. We have installed a motor starter based on the E300 overload relay, which has a voltage and current measuring sensor that will measure actual power consumed by the motor. Now pump two is powered by an Allen Bradley PowerFlex 755 AC drive. There is no control valve installed to control the pressure or flow rate. In this PID loop, the PowerFlex 755 controls the speed of the pump to maintain the line pressure instead of opening and closing a modulating control valve. For pump one with the overload trip relay, we'll open the pressure control PID faceplate and adjust the control variable to an initial open position. Hear the loud noise as the motor draws full power from the starter? By clicking on the overload icon on the motor control faceplate, a diagnostics display for the E300 is opened. On the diagnostics pane in this faceplate, the operator can see the actual measured power consumption, as well as data that includes measured current and power factor. Conclusion to pump one, pump ran full power and the control valve was used to adjust flow. Now, let's take a look at pump two, using the PowerFlex 755 variable frequency drive for pressure control. We'll open the pump two PowerFlex 755 faceplate. The output speed is set at an initial value, and now we start the pump. Notice how the motor noise is much less than pump one? This is because the VFD is only supplying as much power as is commanded by the operator. It is not at full power as our pump one example was. The dry faceplate shows the actual measured power consumption. We'll place the PID loop into auto mode and adjust the set point to the desired value. When the PID is placed into auto, the PowerFlex 755 transitions from operator mode to program mode and now accepts speed commands from the pressure controller. On the trend pane of the PID faceplate, we will see the set point step to the new value and the process variable reach the set point value as the motor speed adjusts in response to the PID calculations. When the process variable has reached the set point, you can see the actual power required to achieve this pressure. Now, with both pumps running, let's take a look at the power that is being drawn from the motor to control the pressure. Both pumps are producing the same target pressure, and here the electricity demand on each pump is quite different. See how in this example, pump two with the PowerFlex 755 drive is drawing about a quarter of the power drawn by pump one that is driven by the E300, a 75% reduction in energy consumption. Imagine if a PowerFlex drive was installed to replace a control valve in multiple pumps in a process application, how great would the savings be? So not only can you see how process applications can benefit from a PowerFlex drive in their control scheme, but also how the reduction in energy consumption can lead to reduced energy costs, along with the elimination of additional hardware and the associated acquisition and maintenance costs.